Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I crochet a lot of cute plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, hello. Welcome back. I am super excited for today's video because today I am attempting a new crochet project that has been on my list for so long and I've never made anything of the sorts. So this is going to be completely new. I'm going to go outside of my comfort zone and we're going to do it together. So today I am going to be making my very first crochet flower bouquet. I am so excited guys. Like it has been on my list for so long to crochet flowers. I literally bought like the stems last year and they've been sitting in my craft cart and I I see so many crochet flower bouquets on Instagram. It is so inspiring to see all of the gorgeous bouquets that people are making. And I was like, you need to try that, Jenna. Like, why haven't you made them yet? So we're gonna make it together. And I also wanted to say that today's video is specifically inspired by this gorgeous rose heart bouquet. Like, how gorgeous is this bouquet? Like, are you kidding me? And these are from the company Rose Forever, which is actually a New York-based luxury rose boxing company. And the cool thing about these roses are that they are real natural roses that can last up to a year. So definitely check out Rose Forever. They have so many different combinations, so many different style boxes, and so many different bouquets that you can choose from. So I have a special discount code. I'll put it on the screen. And if you use my code at checkout, you can receive $15 off your next purchase of some gorgeous roses. So let's dive into making the flowers. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Some time has passed. It is currently June 7th, which is crazy because I filmed the intro clip in May. So needless to say, I've been a little busy, but we are finally getting into this video and I am so excited. Also, I just wanna point the attention to the background here. I have stacks of sunflower turtles. I am finally wrapping up. I have five in the background there and then I have two more to go and then I'm done. I am done, y'all. Thank you for being part of the journey as I fulfill all of these sunflower turtle pre-orders. All right, let's get into it. I actually went and got a bunch of different flower patterns and I specifically got the patterns all from Sierra Stitches. I follow her on Instagram and she is like the flower crochet queen. She has so many great patterns on her Etsy. I will link them all down below. She actually has a bundle which includes all of her different flower patterns. So I just bought that because I was like, okay, I know I'm gonna get hooked on making flowers. So let me just buy all the patterns up front. So let me show you guys. I got her sunflower pattern, lavender pattern, her daisy pattern, her potted rose pattern. So this is a little different than just a regular standing rose. This is actually potted tulip pattern. And then lastly, her just like standalone rose pattern. I'm sorry if some of this footage isn't in focus. I'm still trying to like work out my camera and like learning how to film on it. But anyway, I think for today, I want to start and make a rose for my very first crochet flower because you can't get more classic than a rose. Also, I was thinking, and I think for my next market, which will be in August, I think I wanna actually sell some crochet flower bouquets just because I think they would sell good and they're just so pretty. So I'm keeping this in mind as I crochet through these different flowers in this video and, and see what flowers are like the easiest to make and which would be kind of market friendly. For the roses that I'm gonna make today, I think I'm gonna send them to my mom because she loves roses and she'll be my little test guinea pig. So with all that being said, let's start crocheting the rose and then I think I'm gonna try and crochet all of the other flowers too in this video. I don't think I said that in the introduction. I think originally I was just planning on crocheting roses, but now that I see all these patterns, I'm like, okay, I wanna make them all. So yeah, let's get crocheting. Okay, so for materials, it calls for size four yarn. So I am using my Red Heart Saver yarn in red and green. I'm just gonna do the classic rose colors to begin with. And I have my four millimeter hook. So I think that's all I need for now. I know later down the line, I will need some wire for the stem, but actually, funny story, last year, I kind of thought I was gonna start crocheting flowers. So I actually went ahead and bought some of the floral wiring that is required for the stem. I hope it's right, <laughs> but okay, let's get into it. Oh yeah, I wanna see how long this will take me to. So it is 9.35 right now.
okay, first round done. <laughs> This actually kind of reminds me of making clothing because like you always start out with like a long chain and then you just like crochet down the chain. So I'm curious to see how you actually form like the petals for the rose. I've like literally have never tried to attempt making flowers. So this is like a learning experience for sure. And I just wanted to take you guys along with me because why not? I love having my crochet friends be with me during some experimental times. Also, I feel like my favorite hook size is five millimeter, but I do love how tight my projects look when I use a four millimeter. So I feel like four millimeter hooks are my second favorite size. And that's what I'm using right now, four millimeter. I think I'm just gonna surprise my mom and send her this bouquet and I'll see how she reacts. She loves flowers. She loves making bouquets from her garden outside and just like wild flowers. Or whenever she goes to the supermarket, she'll like pick up a bouquet. She like loves flowers. So I think it'd be really sweet for her to have some crochet flowers that will last forever. Also the like crochet flower community is like a whole nother subset of the crochet community on Insta. So I definitely wanna like get acquainted with some of the people on there. I'm actually already friends with Sierra on Instagram and that's kind of how I started like looking at crochet flowers because I kept seeing her work pop up on my feed. I'm like, oh my gosh, these are like literally gorgeous. Like I wanna try to make some. Okay, step two is done. Now I'm gonna proceed on. I think my camera's gonna die though, so I have to check back in with you guys in a bit, but stay tuned. Guys, look! Is she focusing? Look at her, so fancy. It was all fine and dandy until step four. I, <laughs> I need to like read this a few times. See, I'm a very like visual person. I would benefit greatly from a video tutorial right now because I just see like one big paragraph. I'm like, I can't comprehend it. Okay, it's fine. Let me just mull this over. Crisis averted guys, I got it. Sierra's pattern is great because she did include a lot of pictures. So I literally just like went down to the picture section and was like, okay, I understand. <laughs> so look, my petals are forming. So cute. Can't wait. Shout out to Sierra for a great pattern. Sorry, I'm just slow with reading patterns sometimes. Like even to this day, like a year plus crocheting, I still get a little bit tripped up with written patterns, but hey, this is good practice for me. I think by the end of this whole video, I should be really good at reading patterns again. So I would definitely call myself like a complete beginner when it comes to crocheting flowers just because like I've never really attempted it before. So with that being said, I think you guys should definitely give it a try if you also have been wanting to crochet flowers. Let this video be the sign for you to try it. It honestly isn't that bad. Like as long as you know like the basic crochet stitches like half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, like you should be good. This is, honestly isn't that hard, I'm shocked. And the pattern is like really thorough, so definitely give it a shot. Oh my gosh, guys, that was so quick. I just got down round four and it already says to fasten off, so the flower is done. <laughs> wow, that is really quick, I'm like surprised. Okay, it's 10 o'clock, so that took me I forget what time I started. I guess that took me like, what, 30 minutes, uh, an hour? I forget, I forget what time it was. But yeah, okay, not bad, not bad. And now I think it's time for me to go on to the green part of the flower, whatever that's called. Oh, she has it called the calyx, calyx? I feel like that's not right. Also, I've never heard of that before. Don't come for me guys in the comments if I mispronounce. You know how I am with pronunciation. It is not good. <laughs> All right, let's make this green part. All right, 
we got the starting piece. Got the one little leafy part. Oh, can you guys see it? Yay, guys, look, I made it. It's done. So now all that's left is, I think, like the little leaves and then wrapping the stem and putting it all together. I am shocked. Like, this is crazy. I don't know why I thought flowers took longer than this. I mean, I guess it is still pretty long. It has been already like an hour, so I don't know why I'm like, oh, it's so quick. But I guess like compared to plushies and everything, this is pretty nice. So, oh, I'm excited to see the final product. Okay, leaf time. I don't know if I have the right wire. BRB, gonna go see what kind of supplies I have. I found the floral wire that I bought last year, and I think this is the wire that I have to use. Because she said in her pattern to use a 22 gauge flexible floral wire, and this says 22. So I think I'm just gonna use this. I truly am doing this for the first time, if you can't already tell, but okay. Let me take some of this out. Guys, look, I did the leaf. <laughs> look how cute the little leaf is. And look, I did it correctly because I crocheted around the wire. So this leaf is like super, look, bendable and stuff, which is really cool. Wow, I'm amazed. I'm now realizing though, like it is a lot of work. I give the floral crocheters a lot of credit because this is like a whole different world than plushies. Like plushies are a lot of work and this is definitely a lot of work too. I think earlier I was just shocked because, you know, plushies you have up to 20 plus rounds before you finish like a body part of a plushie and with this it's like oh round four you're done but in reality i think this is a lot more work because look you have to do with the individual leaves you have to do this other part of the flower you gotta like wrap it glue it so i feel like it comes out to like a lot of work in the end even though the steps themselves are not that long crochet is so manual it really is an art i feel Okay, I'm going to make another leaf and then I think we can wrap up and start hot gluing. Also, I kind of went ahead because I was really excited and I wrapped the rose and look at her. Oh no, I didn't sew it yet though. So whoops, it might come apart. But like, look, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so cool. It is so cool. My mom is gonna love it. Oh, just kidding. I'm reading the pattern again and she says one leaf per stem, so I'm good. Now we can go on to hot gluing, yay. Okay, I finished sewing. So here is my sewn rose. She is secure and she's so gorgeous. Then I have this part and then I have the leaf. guys i am so obsessed with how she turned out she is so freaking cool okay i really want to make a bouquet now so i just have to repeat this process like five more times and yeah i like cannot stop looking at it oh my gosh all right i took a quick break because i had to sew on all of the petals of my sunflower turtles but now that that's done back to crocheting some flowers 
I really am tempted to like make more roses because I wanted like an all rose bouquet but then I was thinking about it I'm like okay I need to like crochet all the flowers first and then I can put together a nice little bouquet so I think what we're doing next is gonna be the lavender because that is my second most favorite flower I actually love roses first and then lavender second so yeah let's make some lavender Sorry for all the lighting changes. I realized through kind of trial and error, the best lighting is like natural lighting that I get from my windows without my like overhead lamp on. So I realized I was filming with it on, so I just turned it off. But okay, I'm gonna use Sierra Stitches pattern again for the lavender and let's see what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna use this lavender yarn. I honestly don't know the brand. I don't think it's Red Heart. I think it's Big Twist. But yeah, this is just like random yarn that has been sitting in my yarn cube for way too long. So I'm glad I'm finally getting to use it. And then I just need green. I'll use the same yarn that I used for my rose. So that is actually gonna be Red Heart. Four millimeter hook again. All right, let's get to it. It looks like this one only has four rounds as well, and that just makes me so happy. Like, it's so much nicer than plushies that are like 20 plus rounds for like one body part. <laughs> it's fine, I still love crocheting plushies, but this is honestly gonna be a new obsession. Like, I can already see myself just wanting to crochet flowers. For my studio makeover, I'm definitely gonna make myself a bouquet and have it permanently like on my shelf or like on my desk. Okay, second round done. I hope this is right. <laughs> um, okay, round three. Oh, also I'm like looking down because I have my iPad on my desk. So sorry if I keep looking down. I don't know if this is right. I like just made, I have this now. It kind of looks right. I'm gonna just go with it. Okay guys, I think we actually are doing it right. It looks legit. I got the little lavender buds. I'm so excited. Literally bless Sierra's heart for including so many pictures because without it, I would be lost. <laughs> Guys, I just got done. Look at this. Look at this little chain. It's so cool. And that like didn't take long at all. And then I was reading the pattern and like the green leafy part is actually um, optional. I won't cut corners though. I will make the little leafy part, but yeah, then we can literally glue and we're done. Ah, this is so satisfying to make flowers. It's like so satisfying. Okay, I just finished the little leafy part. Here she is. And this goes on the bottom. I know it was optional, but I do kind of like the look of the leafy part versus just the lavender. So now it is time to glue everything together. This is the second time I went to go hot glue something and I realized my hot glue gun was off. Like I didn't turn it on. So while we wait, I wanted to address something real quick. I get a lot of comments saying that people would like me to do video tutorials and I am really excited because I have a lot of fun video tutorials planned for you guys in the coming months. But one thing about crochet is that you aren't allowed to make any video tutorials on patterns that aren't yours. So the only tutorials that I would be able to film are, you know, like the basic introduction to crochet. So like magic ring, sagoon crochet, double crochet, etc. And then any pattern that is exclusively mine. Those are the only kind of tutorial videos that I can do. So I get a lot of questions asking how to make like the sunflower turtles or like how to make the leggy froggies. And since those patterns aren't my own, I cannot make the video tutorial on it, unfortunately. But I always link down below where I get my patterns from so you can go get the pattern yourself. And then if you need any help making the plushie, I would either reach out to the pattern creator or just go on YouTube and try and look up the step that you're stuck on. So for example, if you are doing the leggy froggy and you don't know how to do the bobble stitch, just go on YouTube and like look up bobble stitch and that should hopefully help you. So I'm really sorry about that. I would love to film as many video tutorials as you guys want, but unfortunately that's just how it works just because those patterns aren't my own and I don't have the rights to them. But I thought I would just like clear that up as a FYI just so you guys know. Also, I realized that the wire that I have is like not the correct 
size. I think Sierra says you should have two millimeter. This is like a 22 gauge. I actually don't know what I'm talking about, but I think this is too thin. So I went on Amazon and I bought thicker wire for the stems, but I noticed with my rose, it's a little flimsy just because the wire is so thin. So going forward, I am going to use thicker stems, but okay, I think the glue gun is hot. So let's get making, or should I say, let's get gluing. I also am trying to figure out like the best angle for you guys to see everything. Okay. I always mess up on this part, like the initial glue. So let me get some glue on there. Let me get the yarn on there. Okay. I like burned myself when I tried doing this with the rose. So I'm trying to get better with it. Okay, there we go. And then just start twisting it. This one is already looking way better than my rose stem, so there you go. You get better with practice. Okay. It's actually kind of satisfying to twist this. So I folded the wire that I have in half, so I'll make it a little thicker because without folding it in half, it's just way too thin. So that is my solution for right now. And then I'm just gonna glue it at the very bottom. Yeah, this one is so much better than my rose. Oh my gosh. It's so nice to know that I'm improving already. Okay, I just fastened off. So here is the stem. So now we're ready to put on the lavender. Okay, so I just read the pattern. It looks like I just twirled this on and then glue it. Oh gosh, hope I don't botch this. Oh, I guess I did do it right. It looks legit. <laughs> okay, I'm trying not to burn myself. Okay, then we just twirl her on. Oh my gosh, are you guys watching this? So satisfying seeing it all come together. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Okay, I think making lavender is my favorite. Oh my gosh, this is so cool to watch. Okay, let me make sure it's like all good. Oh my gosh. Oh no, my stem might be too short. Crap. Okay. Let me just push her up a little. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool, guys. This is so cool. Okay, I might have to like go on top of each other because I'm not trying to go down the entire stem. I'm like running out of room. I won't have this issue when my new stuff comes, but oh my gosh. Okay, this is so cool. Okay, and then I think I'm just gonna like Put some glue. Ah, oh, it's just a little lavender. Okay, now I'm gonna put the green stem on. Actually, I don't know if I want the green. Let me get my rose and see what it looks like with the rose. Oh my gosh, look guys. Oh my golly. It is so cool. I guess the green does go if it's like in a bouquet. I think I'm just gonna leave it off for now because when I get my longer stems, I'm gonna remake this and I'll use this. I think it'll look better with a longer stem because right now this one's kind of short. But oh my gosh. Okay, do you, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like look at the difference between how I did the rose winding and then the lavender it's so much more clean i still have to work on the end it's a little sloppy but oh my gosh okay on to the next flower i think we're gonna do daisies next all right let's get into making the daisy flowers a few days has passed guys i'm sorry i had to do a few other things like finish all of the turtles but they're officially done so now it is flower time so Daisy requires three colors. I got my green, yellow, and white. And these are all Red Heart Saver yarn. It's nice I already had all this yarn because I bought this a while ago and I never used it. So I'm glad to be finally putting it to use. All right, let's pull up the pattern and let's get crocheting. Oh, um, my new flower stems came in the mail yesterday from Amazon. That was actually like super quick shipping. I'm surprised. In Mississippi, Prime isn't usually like two days. It's more like 
three to four. So this one actually came in like a day. So this daisy will be the first flower I use with those correct stems. So I just made the daisy center. There we go. Oh no, is she not focusing? There she goes. Yep. So this is the daisy center. I need to repeat it one more time in green because that will be the back of the daisy. And then I think we can get on with making the petals. All right, the green one is done. So I have the two centers now and then I just have to make the petals. So really not that bad. I think my favorite time to crochet is definitely in the morning just because like all of the natural light, it just makes me feel so bright and happy. And I don't know, it's just a nice start to the morning. When I crochet during the night, I definitely am more tired. And then I feel like I make more mistakes than two. But in the morning, it's just so like refreshing. I just slip knotted so now my two centers are connected and now yeah petal time i just realized that the green yarn is a little bigger than the yellow or maybe it's just me tripping but it looks bigger so I don't know if that will be a problem but at least it's in the back she's looking more legit guys look at her okay I finished the daisy but as you can see some of the petals are curling so I'm gonna follow Sierra's instructions for making them straight like these ones that I already did because I like that look personally better. The curled look is still kind of cute though. Maybe I'll do that for the next bouquet that I make. She's done. Look how pretty she turned out. Okay, I'm not gonna make the leaves just for time reasons. I wanna get these flowers done quick because I think this video is already pretty long. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the stem and finish off the flower also i feel like i'm not gonna use the new stems that i just got even though i was just like oh i can't wait to use the stems because i already made two flowers and they're like a certain height so if i use the new stems then the heights will be different so i think i'm just gonna continue and use my old thin stems and then for the next floral bouquet which will be like the more legit one because this is still kind of like my guinea pig bouquet for the next one i'll use like the legit good stems but yeah gotta use up the old stems that aren't really the correct size just to show you guys though here are the new stems and they are much thicker than my old stems these are like i don't even know how wide they are millimeter wise but these ones are two millimeter wide which is good you don't want your flower to be like floppy so for my legit flower bouquets i'll be using these <laughs> but yeah since these ones are so thin i've been actually folding them in half and making the stem that way that way it's more stable but as you can see it is shorter it is not the full like length since i folded it in half so that's why my bouquet is going to be a little shorter okay so as you can see there is my wrapped stem but like i need to get better at the ends because it's so sloppy but hey this is my tester this is fine i'm not selling these let me find a good spot to stab the flower I think my least favorite part of making these flowers is the hot glue and like just dealing with it because it always gets everywhere. But look guys, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. So legit. Oh my gosh, I love her. She would look cute with the leaves, so I will definitely be making leaves in the future. But look at her. Okay, let me get the other flowers. So, so far we have all of these. So now I'm gonna make tulips and 
I think we'll be done. Oh, and sunflowers. All right, so we're doing tulips next. These are the colors I picked. I wanted to do lighter colors for tulips just because I think it looked prettier. This yarn is from Michaels. It's called Impeccables, and I love this brand. This is like the perfect brand if you're looking to make projects out of acrylic yarn. It's super cheap. I think it's like four bucks a skein. Comes with a lot. I don't know exactly how many grams this is, but it's a good amount. And I just like love the different colors they offer in this yarn. So this is my favorite acrylic yarn. I'm really excited to make these tulips because I think they look really pretty in a bouquet. And I just love the colors I picked. So let's get to making. I just got done making the body of the tulip. Look how pretty it is, guys. Love 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 this like lavender color and i love how tight the stitches are sierra said to use a 3.5 hook instead of four so size down a little now i think i just have to stuff it and like sew the top together i'm so excited also um i have to make leaves for these tulips just because i think it would look too bare out a leaf so i'm gonna do that too here she is the finished little tulip oh my gosh making this was so fun like i think tulips are my favorite flower officially they're just so easy and i just like love the little look of it i think i'm biased too because i love tulips i literally have like a tulip plushie back there this will be so freaking cute okay i am now gonna make the pink one and depending on timing, maybe I'll make like one more because I think like it would be cute to have multiple tulips even though I have been making one of everything else. So we'll see. But yeah, on to the pink one. I like how it's coming out so far. I think these colors will look really well together. Second tulip done. They're so pretty together. I'm obsessed, you guys. I'm gonna stop here. I'm not gonna make another tulip because I still need to make my sunflower and then we can wrap up this video and I can see everything all together. So I got started on the leaves. So it's gonna be a pretty long leaf because this whole chain is for the leaf. Um, and then after I'm done the two leaves, we can glue. Guys, here is the one leaf. I low-key messed up on it, but I kind of don't want to redo it. <laughs> yeah, it looks fine enough. So this is the guinea pig round. It's fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna like curl her like this and she'll be, she'll be cute. She'll be cute. <laughs> okay, let me make one more. Just kidding, guys. I made an executive decision and we are not making the leaves just because we are already under a time constraint. I don't want this video to be like a thousand years long. So let me show you. Look at them. Oh my gosh. How freaking adorable are these tulips? I think they would 100% look better with leaves, but look at them. Oh my gosh. They're just Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, my rose. See, this is why you need thicker wire. My rose is not stable at all. Are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? I can't even get everything all together, but you guys get the gist. Yay, okay. All of these are done. I just need my sunflower and then we are good. The bouquet is complete. Oh my gosh, wait, just like look at this. This is like such an amazing little bouquet right here. I should just send this to my mom. Okay, sunflower time. We are in the home stretch, everybody. Here are my sunflower colors. Oh my gosh, fluff. <laughs> um, these are all red heart yarn and I'm gonna get started making the center with the brown and then we'll do petals in yellow and yeah, hopefully it won't take me that long and then we can wrap up. Okay, the two centers are done. So now I'm gonna put them together, make the petals. I need to learn how to do a double, triple crochet stitch because I do not know how to do that. And then we will be good. Okay, I got the first few petals done. Look at that, not too bad. I will say double, triple crochets are kind of fun. You just keep, just keep going. Like, if you know how to do it, you'll understand what I'm saying. Like, you just keep weaving it in and out. It's cool. Guys, look at her. Oh my gosh. 
reminds me of my um, sunflower turtles, except it's actually just the sunflower. I also love how Sierra made it so realistic and put like green on the back, the brown in the front. Same with like the daisy design, so freaking cool. But okay, I am going to glue her up now. I'm gonna do the stem. I'm not gonna do the leaves, big surprise. I just wanna be done because we're so close, guys. I cannot wait to see everything together. We're done, guys. Ah, look at her. Okay, she's a little floppy just because I didn't use the thicker stems, but oh my gosh, like look at her. I'm excited to eventually have her with petals, but oh my gosh, she's perfect. So we are officially done, guys. We're officially done. Let me go grab the other flowers. Ah! Okay, here they are. I need to like group them all together, but look at them all. Okay. Let me do some magic here with arranging them. <laughs> Shit. This is hard, guys. Wait, this is hard. Okay, my camera died, so I had to get a new battery, and I'm still struggling to like hold all of these flowers together okay here we go let me just add the rose now it's because the stems are too short video is not sponsored literally all of my honest opinions i love all of her flower patterns look at this i think my favorite combination are, are these though the tulips with the daisy and some lavender this is so pretty and I feel like I just need to get a vase and just put these on my desk now and I need to add the leaves but yeah I'm gonna make some more roses send them to my mom or maybe I'll just send her this because this is so cute but yeah oh my gosh I'm obsessed with making the flowers the sunflower is really really pretty too if you have like all sunflowers ah the possibilities are endless. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you feel inspired to create some flower bouquets of your own. It's super, super quick and I think it's honestly easier than making plushies. I'm still a big plushie fan, don't get me wrong, but I think I'm definitely gonna be making a bunch of flower bouquets for my market in August. So I'm excited for that and I hopefully will show you guys some more flower bouquets in the future. All right, well, I hope everyone has a great day and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.